Hello friends, in this video we are going to study about Poisson Kant reaction. Actually what's happening in Poisson Kant reaction? An alkyne reacts with alkene and carbon monoxide furnishing cyclopentenone. So the reactants are alkyne, alkene and carbon monoxide. The product is cyclopentenone. Look at this alkyne, alkene, carbon monoxide. Okay, so there is a CC bond formation here and again between alkene, alkyne and carbon monoxide you get cyclopentenone. Okay, this reaction is a 2 plus 2 plus 1 cycloaddition because 2 carbon in alkyne, 2 carbon in alkene and 1 carbon in carbon monoxide. So 2 plus 2 plus 1 cycloaddition. Parson Kant reaction is an example for 2 plus 2 plus 1 cycloaddition. Okay. The catalyst, dicobalt octacarbonyl. You might have studied uh, this uh, carbonyl in your metal carbonyl reaction in uh, argument metallic chemistry. <coughs> this is an 18 electron species. There are two structures. One is doubly bridged, the other one is unbridged. This one is a solid and this one is a liquid. This is the reagent that we use. Okay. And this dicarbonyl must be used in catalytic amount. Okay, when it is used in catalytic amount, we need to separately use carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide gas atmosphere we need to maintain. When the octacarbonyl used in catalytic amount. In case if it is used as a reagent, that is in stoichiometric amount, that means one equivalent or two equivalent or even more than that, then you don't have to use carbon monoxide atmosphere, gas atmosphere separately because the metal carbonyl itself bearing many carbon monoxides as ligands. So that itself is sufficient to provide the carbon monoxide necessary for Poisson Kant reaction. Okay. The same reaction can take place intramolecularly as well. X indicates carbon, oxygen or nitrogen, whatever. So alkyne and alkene are connected through a chain. So you get cyclopentenone fused with another ring. Okay, this is all about intramolecular Parson Kant cycloaddition. How about the regioselectivity? Large substituents, large substituents of alkyne and alkene prefer the carbene adjacent to the carbonyl group of the cyclopentenone. See for example, here alkyne, it bears a large group and a small group. Here it is alkene, it also bears a substituent that is R. When the product formation takes place in cyclopentenone, the large group comes closer to the carbonyl, adjacent. Similarly, the R group of alkene, that also comes closer to the carbonyl. So this is the regioselectivity. So this is the major product, major regioisomer. Come here, this phenylacetylene, an alkyne and this one is an alkene bearing another substituent okay look at the product phenyl group of alkyne comes closer to the carbonyl group adjacent to the carbonyl group and here the substituent of alkene also comes closer to the carbonyl so this is the major isomer but look at this one phenyl is closer but this one is away away from carbonyl Phenyl is closer to carbonyl. So, this is a minor regioisomer. Okay. So, let us see the intramolecular reaction. Intramolecular Parson Kant reaction. Alkene, alkyne connected through these three carbons. So, you get a chain like this. And here carbonyl, cyclopentenone. So, cyclopentenone fused with a cyclopentane. This is intramolecular Parson Kant cycloaddition. This is a short quantity of information, a necessary information for your exam. If you are curious to acquire more information about Parson Kant reaction, about the mechanism, about the examples, applications, and so on, you can refer the books like uh, William Caruthers or uh, Clyde and Warren. Okay? Hope you understand. If you have any queries and comments, please write it in the comment box. We'll meet in the next video with some other interesting topics. Your suggestions and comments are fervently solicited. Wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching.